Hey everyone, um, this is Pam Batchelor with North Carolina Department of Public Construction and I am coming to you to record this brief video. Um, I'm excited to announce that we have um, created at the state level released tests for 3 through 8 math as well as science in grades uh, 5 and 8 and the biology released test using the released items uh, from DPI, as well as we've also created tests at the state level for the um, math sets. So today I wanted to show you where you can find these uh, tests and how you can schedule them or recommend them to your schools. Um, so first of all, these are only for our district and uh, charter school admins. So you guys are going to have to log in to your instance of SchoolNet. And then on the left side, using your navigation, you're going to go under Assessments, and we're going to go to Assessment Dashboard. And when we go to Assessment Dashboard, we're looking for recommended tests. So what we've done at the state level is we've recommended um, these assessments to you at the admin level um, for your district or charter school. So what you're going to have to do is you'll see that when you open it up with the plus sign, there's um, it shows the top 10 most relevant. But if we go to view all, we will see all of the tests um, that have been recommended. Uh, so you can see that there's been all of these tests for there's um, math sets, and then there's science, there's some automotive tests, I guess, from CTE, um, and then uh, our math sets and our science tests, and then our released tests, right? So you can see the naming conventions of these tests. Uh, so what you are going to need to do is click on one of these tests, and up here at the top, if you wanted to kind of filter by grade level subject area, so that way you know you're making sure um, you're looking at these tests you can so I'm just going to go to third grade and just click go and then that way we can kind of start from the bottom and work our way up if you want to that would be a good way um, but you're just going to go into the test and you see how it says not assigned over here under assignment status you're going to need to change that um, and go ahead and schedule and assign. So I'm just going to click on the first one for our third grade, which is our number and operation fractions uh, formative assessment for grade three for the math sets. And so when I open up that test, I'm going to go right under down to schedule information, and I need to edit the schedules and settings. All right, so we have a start date an end date that's already set for the entire year so you don't have to do that what you have to do is um, go ahead and either assign it to your students and so you know it defaults to third grade math so we can do that or if you want to recommend you can do that as well um, so kind of in thinking about your um, choices assigning to students is the quickest way this means that Students will just be able to go in and take the test with the passcode. Uh, so it's the simplest method. You won't have to do any additional work, um, or your teachers won't have to do any additional work. They just simply give the students the passcode and they take the test. Um, the nice thing about this too is that it lets you see it at the district level or at charter school level so you can see all of your data in your classes um, versus recommending. Um, it'll still show you the data, but the teachers have to go in or your like curriculum leaders at your school level would have to go in and actually, you know, do the scheduling settings for their particular schools. So I recommend just going in here and going ahead and assigning um, this uh, to the test. Now I'm in a, I'm in our production instance, so I'm not actually going to do this, um, but you can either ex apply the default or you can uh, select the assignment and it'll bring up your um, courses that you can select from and then you go down here and you see this is where the passcode is and you um, you can see it's already been checked for you on the take a test um, widget and then you just click done so really all you have to do is go in here and assign it to your students and then click done and that's done for that test and then you can move on to the next test 
that was in under our assessment dashboard. So we hope we've tried to you know streamline this by pre-selecting as many things as possible um, for the test. But please let us know if there's any questions or if you when you go under recommended tests. And remember, you have to click on view all to see all of them. If, you, if there's something you're missing or you're not seeing, please let us know and uh, we'll be happy to troubleshoot with you. But we hope this is helpful, especially for the beginning of the year when teachers are looking to identify those skill gaps to have both the released um, tests as well as the math sets tests already made for them. They can just, you can schedule them and go. All right. Thank you.